What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. It is Royal Rumble 2019 today guys. I am super duper excited. NXT TakeOver was absolutely off the chain last night and you guys know that tonight it's going to get even better. The Royal Rumble, my favorite pay-per-view of the year, is here. It is Among Us and we got my boy Finn Balor taking on the Beast Incarnate. Who's going to walk out with the Universal Championship? Obviously probably Brock Lesnar. You know it's pretty sad that you know that's probably how it's going to go. But I'm going to be cheering my ass off for my boy. Does he bring the demon? I know the, the rumors are saying he's not. If it's the man, you know, I, I I had a fantasy booking idea. What if the man loses to Brock Lesnar and then the demon takes our truth out and enters the Rumble at 30 and wins the Royal Rumble and he earns a rematch or something? I don't know. I'm just fantasy booking here, but that could go down. Um, you know, paint up later in the night and come out as the demon and win the Rumble if you're not going to fight Brock Lesnar as the man. I don't know what what to see here, but uh, it's just something that, you know, that crossed my mind. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I've also heard of rumors Becky Lynch winning the men's Royal Rumble or something like that and that just sounds terrible just let her win the women's Royal Rumble why she gotta win the men's I don't know that's that's just weird but anyways guys here today we do have two unboxings that we're gonna be doing we have a fan mail package right here that somebody they said they bought me something on eBay so I'm excited to open that and then my boy Stanzenberg sent me a custom figure that I bought off of him and it's a beautiful one-of-a-kind custom made by BEW Animations guys so we're not gonna waste any more time we're gonna get straight into it and uh, let, let's go ahead and unbox this thing so getting the other Finn Balor's out of the way guys here we go it is back here I've already slid it open and everything I already know what figure it is so it's not like I'm gonna be surprised or anything but I am super duper excited he also sent me a custom head scan. There it is. And uh, here's the head scan. It's just a Tyler Bate head scan, which, if you guys can believe, this is a Billy Gunn head scan. This is a Jax Billy Gunn head scan, and somebody did some custom work to it. I don't know if it was BEW or who it was, but it looks just like Tyler Bate. It's kind of scary, and I appreciate my boy hooking me up with this. I believe we made a trade for it, and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. Go follow Steinsenberg Customs on Instagram, guys. One of my Good friends in the community, and he's just a beast. A very good pick fetter, very good customizer. And, uh, yeah, go get him a follow, guys. But right here, it is in this baggie. The custom figure that is just a holy grail. And I am super freaking excited to undo this thing and get him out of the baggie. I want to be very careful with it. But, oh, my God, in heaven on earth and in heaven at the exact same time, would you look at this custom Elite SummerSlam 2018 Finn Balor figure. This figure looks absolutely phenomenal. Look at that head scan, the custom sculpted tongue and the angry eyes. He repainted the eyes. I mean, my Lord, guys, I want to be careful trying to get this headdress off because I know the paint is going to kind of stick to it there. But holy Lord Jesus, this is going to look perfect up on the shelf, up on the Finn Balor shelf, guys. You know how we have the mat. I think this makes my 37th or 38th Elite Finn Balor, and I'm so excited to have it. We got to get in here and get all the, you know, the good details in here. BEW did a fantastic job. Everybody knows how good he is. But there is the head scan, and it is just insane, guys. Oh, my Lord, it looks beautiful. Here's the chest paint. You got the teeth. You got all the nice detail. He even added the gray and the slight gray tones into the teeth and everything. I mean, BEW, I've said it so many times before, guys, he's an absolute magician, and uh, one thing that made me hesitant to buy this figure is that he used the Neville torso, and I don't know why, but I like this torso better. I like to use this torso for all of my Demon Finn Balor, so that was sort of hesitant. That's why I was hesitant to buy it, but I I'm very glad I purchased it. I it was a great price. It was a great figure, and I love the, the, the fact that you really can't even tell. I mean, to be honest with you, you can't even tell that it's the Neville torso, but it looks beautiful man I mean my god he even has all the armbands going on we got the painted trunks in here with like the little flame designs you got the teeth painted on the hands with the hand tape and everything you know he did that little signature thing uh, I think he did like a suicide dive on the Baron Corbin he looked at the camera and did like this little thing where it looks like teeth are coming out of the side of the demon's face it looks so sick um, going down this is it's all hand painted nothing on here is decals it is all hand painted by BEW this looks Mattel factory made look at these knee pads those teeth are absolutely perfect on the back here, you got the design on the back of the trunks again. You have this beautiful teeth design on the back, and he even continued it as you move it forward, guys. So you're not going to lose that. If I were to ab crunch it, you're not going to, you know, F up the paint. It's not going to disappear on you. He fully painted it all the way, and that is just the craftsmanship of BEW, guys. Golly, this freaking figure, man. Look, he even added all the details to the back of the head. 
He's even got the haircut fade in there, which is my favorite. All the paint fading into the face and just that tongue sticking out. That is so fantastic. BEW is a true magician. He even threw in the little entrance gear on the armbands. And the only thing that I may add is I may go in and add the details to the shoes, much like I did with uh, these Finn Battlers. I think that he did wear these same Nike shoes on that night, so I'll probably add that, but that is no biggie to me. Um, I also added it to my entrance great Sven Balor. It's literally, I've done it so many times, I can, I can do it in my sleep. So, not really worried about that, but I will add it later on. But my God, this is, this is a beautiful piece of art. And I am just so happy that my boy Cody sold it to me and he gave me the deal that he did. And not only that, guys, he threw in an extra Universal Championship trying to give us some good luck for tonight's matchup with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. Uh, trying to send us some good mojo as we prepare for Finn Balor to take on Brock Lesnar. I mean, again, guys, I'm super excited for the match. I'm super excited for the Rumble. Again, it is my favorite pay-per-view. And uh, hopefully we see the Demon and maybe he'll dress up in some epic paint. And maybe he can get the job done against Brock Lesnar tonight. I'm not going in with any expectations. I'm just going to go in and expecting just Finn Balor to work his ass off and do his absolute best to win that matchup. But, uh... While we, uh, after we've unboxed this Finn Balor, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at my little fan mail package. I believe this was sent to me by my boy Derek Henry 20 on Instagram. Thank you so much, Derek. This means a lot to me. I don't even know what we got in here, but I'm super duper excited to uh, break it open and see what we got in here because uh, he said that uh, he it was. I think it, what did he say? I can't remember what he said about it, but uh, I'm I'm very happy to unbox it here. And it feels like it's sort of a oh my god in heaven. This is absolutely astonishing guys are you serious if anyone knows what this figure is you will understand my reaction this is the toys r us mail away exclusive elite vince mcmahon this is the only suited elite vince mcmahon figure they've ever made i think it was released in 2011 or 12 and this figure literally goes for over a hundred dollars on ebay guys if you find this mock it's like 100 125 somewhere in there and this is so sick, man. I've been wanting to track this figure down forever. I, I, I've always loved the gray suit. I like the head scan. I've always had to use like a Paul Heyman build a figure body with a Vince McMahon head scan on there to just sort of, you know, give me an updated, you know, sort of current day looking Vince McMahon. But this is so sick. It wasn't ever accurate. This is accurate, guys. It's got his height in there. Oh my God. I cannot believe you actually sent me this, bro. Thank you so much, Derek. Guys, go give him a follow just for sending us this figure. This is absolutely astonishing. I love this. This is fantastic. Can't wait to get some use out of this. I mean, I, I've been wanting this figure forever. It's one of my most sought after figures. And the man just sends it to me. And I appreciate you so much, Derek. That, that is awesome, man. You're an absolute beast. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and you enjoy the Royal Rumble. What an epic figure, guys. The Vince McMahon and an epic custom Finn Balor in the same video. And it kind of, you know, all three of these men sort of tie together. Brock Lesnar, Finn, and Vince McMahon. Is Vince McMahon going to give Finn Balor the push? Is he going to give him the Universal Championship? Apparently it's a new era, right? If it's a new era, then give us Finn Balor as the Universal Champion. Give us the Demon. Conquer Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. And let's get this championship ring started. Whatever was supposed to go down with Finn Balor when he won the Universal title in 2016, that's what they need to go back to. Give him that same push and everything will be right in the world. But thank you so much, Derek, man. That is a beautiful Vince McMahon. And again, I, I love it so much. That is awesome. The Beast Incarnate goes one-on-one -on -one with Finn Balor tonight, guys. Another interesting fact, Finn Balor is undefeated on the main roster in one-on-one -on -one pay per view matches. Very interesting little uh, wrinkle that is thrown into the storyline there. Also, if you guys missed the Royal Rumble match from yesterday posted up on the channel, it is a Royal Rumble action figure match. 30 men over the top rope. It's over 40 minutes long. Some great little content, entertaining content to satisfy you until the Royal Rumble tonight. Please go check out that video. I put a lot of heart and effort into it, and I would appreciate you guys if you would go leave a like, comment down below what you thought about it, and watch it from beginning to end. I think you guys will get a real kick out of it. I also want to give a huge shout out to Derek and Steinsenberg, my boy Cody, again for the epic packages here today. Super excited for the Rumble tonight. And uh, I, I am just going to go have fun with all my new figures here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom Balor and unboxing video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.